A Bayesian silhouette was captured and framed in publication 289 in 13 chapters and verbalized in ISBN 978-976-9689381 and podcast 158. As a student of film and media arts specialist, when I juxtapose the difference between the theoretical construct shadow and silhouette, I recognize a Bayesian's silhouette. A Bayesian's silhouette is an abstract conversation which captures and darken shapes and outlines of something while a shadow, on the other hand, is the darkened shape that occurs because of a light source being blocked. This nuance is not only exclusive to Barbados's cultural geographical space, but silhouette occupies the precincts of every culture simply because a silhouette is a shadow. Equally, regardless of the outline or shape of the shadow is the edge of the visible object or the image of the visible object. If we are thinking of shadows cast onto surfaces, according to Springer.com. The aforesaid implies that regardless of ethnicity, orientation, or the geographical space we occupy, silhouette is practiced consciously and unconsciously. It is because of the aforesaid philosophical nuances I was motivated to capture a Bayesian's silhouette. A Bayesian's silhouettes show the shape of the subject without any detail. Silhouettes are particularly useful and work well as symbols in logo designs according to zilliondesigns.com and it also sets the tone and tenor of this conversation. J. Rushford arrives on the scene and makes the telling point. I quote, The silhouette is recognized in philosophy and art as a peculiar means of identification and knowledge, not just through its creation of a visual, end quote. Rushford's purported theory seemingly synchronizes with another theory, which suggests that a shadow is formed when a light from a light source is obstructed by some object. However, when a shadow is formed, it happens due to absorption of all light by an object from a light emitting source. As a result, a shadow is produced, which is due to absorption or absence of light, hence black in color. Silhouette lighting means lighting being emitted from a pan channel sign graphic, which has the open side of the channel facing the wall or sign face it is mounted to, thereby silhouetting the sign graphics. This is sometimes called a halo effect, according to lawinsider.com dictionary. A case in point. Earth blocks the sun's light from reaching the sky above you. No light means no heat. That's why nights are almost always cooler than days. Shadows exist in space, too, according to NASA.gov audience. Linguistically speaking, these words can be used interchangeably. For example, outline, contours, profile, delineation, form, shape, figure, 
shadow, features, lines, curves, and configuration for the word silhouette. It should be noted that silhouette is a noun and a two-dimensional representation of the outline of an object as a cutout or configurational drawing, uniformly filled in with black, especially a black paper, miniature cutout of the outlines of a person's face in profile according to dictionary.com. Did you know the name Silhouette is a girl's name? And it means shadow outline. In this space, we observe origin and usage. For example, the noun Silhouette comes from the name of an 18th century French author and politician, Etienne de Silhouette. Although Etienne de Silhouette gave his name to the word silhouette, making it an invention, the connection between the historical figure and the word's original meaning. Moses Williams was an accomplished silhouette artist and entrepreneur born to an enslaved couple who were traded to Charles Wilson Peel, Rembrandt's father, in payment for a pair of portraits he had painted while living in Maryland, according to the PeelCenter.org. Silhouette portraits are also called profiles, shadow portraits, and likenesses. Silhouette art has been around since the 1500s, but it got its name in the 1700s from the finance minister of France, Etienne de Silhouette. He enjoyed cutting out profile portraits as a hobby. Over time, the art form took on its name, according to julieblanner.com. In America, silhouettes were highly popular from about 1790 to 1840, according to cutarts.com. Prior to the advent of photography, silhouette profiles cut from black card were the cheapest way of recording a person's appearance. Silhouettes were a popular art form in the United States in the 18th and 19th centuries because they were accurate, inexpensive, quick to make, and easy to send to a friend or relative, according to AmericanArtSci.edu. There are three basic silhouettes, the stack, the European, and the American cut, according to Sun. Sentinel.com. A silhouette is made by using a light source to cast a shadow. The shadow is then cut around to make an outline of the person. The subject sits in front of a light source creating a shadow. This shadow is then drawn around and cut out. Emile Pacarcles advocates that there are simple techniques to make sure your silhouette photos always look amazing, especially when you shoot against the source of light and also hide the sun behind your subject. He also states that finding interesting and unique photography subjects and pay attention to the outline of your subjects. He further adds that you cannot see facial expressions, just the outline. You set the exposure manually, especially if your subjects are moving, try taking photos in burst mode so you can pick the exact right moment later. When you're shooting against the sun, you'll often have issues with the sun blowing out large parts of your photos. Lens flare can also be a problem when you take photos directly against the sun. While lens flare can sometimes be used for a creative effect, more often than not, it's a good idea to leave the sun out altogether by hiding it directly behind your main subject. When using the sky as the background, look for interesting patterns and formations in the clouds to see how you can juxtapose them with your silhouette to create a truly unique photo. Shooting from a low angle 
greatly improve the surroundings of your silhouettes because it allows you to position your subjects against unique backgrounds. While most silhouette photos are taken outside, you can also capture unique silhouettes indoors as long as you are shooting against the source of light. One of the common use of silhouettes today is that they make great symbols and icons because they are simple. After we have digested this information, I presume that the logical question to ask, how do you make silhouettes art? According to stylebyemilyhenderson.com, you take a photo, take a side profile photo of a subject against a white wall, upload the photo, tape paper to the computer and trace it, cut it out, glue onto black paper, glue onto final background paper, and sign and date it. When the proverbial dust is settled, as a student of film and media art specialist, after I juxtapose the difference between the theoretical construct shadow and silhouette, I recognize a Bayesian silhouette. A Bayesian silhouette is an abstract conversation which captured darkened shapes and outlines of something while a shadow on the other hand is the darkening shape that occurs because of a light source being blocked. The nuance will continue to occupy the precincts of every culture indefinitely simply because a silhouette is a shadow. Therefore, regardless of ethnicity, orientation, or the geographical space we occupy, consciously or unconsciously, every global citizen will experience silhouette. Importantly, the outline or shape of the shadow is the edge of the visible object or the image of the visible object. If we are thinking of shadows, cast onto surfaces, according to Springer.com, is the reason why a Bayesian silhouette was captured and framed in the publication 289 in 13 chapters and verbalized in ISBN 978-976-9689381 and podcast 158.